Hi guys, Mrs. Sizemore here. Today we're gonna do a fun art lesson making these cute little polar bears. Now these polar bears are gonna have some added shadow to them to make them look more three-dimensional. Now I'm gonna show you what supplies we need and we're gonna get started. Okay, here are supplies. You will need a piece of white paper, a piece of colored paper, I use blue for the background, but you can use any color. You need a black marker. I used a Sharpie, but again, any marker will do. A black and white crayon, glue stick, and scissors. All right, here we go. So to start my polar bear, I'm gonna find the very center of my page, and I'm gonna put my finger right in the middle. Can you guys put your finger in the middle of your page? Just like that, okay? Now right where I put my finger is where I'm gonna put my first mark. I'm going to put a oval, just like that. It's gonna be side to side. Now it's okay if it doesn't look pretty because we're gonna fill it in. So all you have to do is fill in that oval, just like that. That is gonna be your polar bear's nose, okay? The next thing we're gonna do is we are gonna work on our polar bear's snout. So I'm gonna use my finger as a measuring tool. I'm gonna put my finger right on top of my nose, just like that, and do a little dot. You guys see how I did that? And I'm gonna repeat that step right below my nose. Just a little dot just like that. Now, when we do our polar bear, we use lots of letters in order to make the right marks. So the first letter I'm gonna use is the letter C. So from the very top dot, I'm gonna take my pen and I'm just gonna draw the letter C all the way down to the bottom dot. Do you guys see the letter C? Okay, then I'm gonna complete that C, except this time I'm gonna do a backward C. So I'll start at the top and go do the same thing on the other side, except my C would be backwards. There is my polar bear's snout. The next step is to do our polar bear's eyes. Now our polar bear's eyes are gonna be sitting right on top of the snout. And I'm gonna do a rainbow shape, just like that. And then I'm gonna repeat that on the other side for his other eye, just like that. And then I'm gonna draw a little circle inside of the eyes. Okay, now my goal is to try to keep a little white in that circle. And then around the circle, I'm gonna fill it in black. This is gonna make it look more like an eye, so it has some reflection. So fill the whole eye in black, except for that little dot. If you lo lose your little dot, because sometimes Sharpies, you, that happens, that's okay, don't worry. It'll look fine, even without that little dot. All right, so we have our nose, we have our snout, and we have our eyes. Now let's do the head. So I like to use my fingers as measuring tools. So I'm gonna put two of my fingers on top of the snout and then put a little dot, just like we did with the, uh, with the snout. I'm gonna do the same thing underneath, except this time I'm gonna use one finger. One finger underneath and put a little dot. So at this point, you should have a dot up here and a dot down here. We are now gonna connect it with the letter C again. So I start at the top, go all the way around the snout, down to the dot. I'm gonna repeat that same thing on the other side. So I'm gonna start at the top, go around the snout and the eyes, and go down to the chin, down here. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna give our polar bear some ears so he doesn't look so much like a seal right now. All right, we're gonna make a rainbow shape 
above the head on this side and then on the opposite side. We're gonna do the inner ears all black. So we're gonna do another rainbow shape, except this time we're gonna fill in the smaller rainbow shape black and then repeat the same thing on the other side. There, now we have our polar bear's head. Now we're gonna work on our polar bear's paws. Now polar bears have big paws, so make sure we, when we draw them, we draw them big. We are gonna start by drawing them at the very bottom of our page. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw two rainbow shapes for the paws. It'll look something like this. One on the left and one on the right. See how nice and big my polar bear paws are? When I'm done with those paws, I'm gonna draw the claws, four straight lines. Ready? One, two, three, four. Again, one, two, three, four. Those are my claws. Now to connect the two paws, I'm gonna do another rainbow shape. From the inside of the paw, I'm gonna do a rainbow shape to the other paw, just like that. The next thing we're gonna do is the body. The body has to go from the bottom of the paws all around to the other paw. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your fingers to measure. So the first thing I'm gonna do is put one finger on top of the head, just like we did before, and we're gonna put a mark just like that, okay? so. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use your finger again and put it right along the side of the cheek and put another mark. We're gonna repeat that step on the other side and another mark. So right now you should have one, two, three marks around the head. Now we're just gonna connect the dots. So I'm gonna start at the top and I'm gonna go nice and slow and careful to go around the face and curve down to the first mark. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring that line all the way down to the outside of the first paw. Then I'm gonna repeat that step on the other side. Start at the top, curve around the head, down to the last mark, and then down to the outside of the paw. And there you have your complete polar bear. The very last detail we're gonna do is start about halfway, and we're gonna put a background, which is just a straight line. Stop when you get to the polar bear, and then pick it up on the other side. That is your polar bear. To add some three-dimensional shadows to our polar bear, we're gonna use our crayon. So like I said, if you have a black crayon, this would work great. If you don't have a black crayon, try a black um, color, pencil color, color pencil, um, colored pencil. Or if you don't have that, just use a pencil. So what we're gonna do is our shadow is gonna fall on the left side so on the right side, we're gonna leave it nice and lit. So it looks like almost like the sun is coming and hitting our polar bear here, and here, and here, but then on this, and this, and this is where the shadow is falling. So let's try to color it in. So what we're gonna do is start along the inside of our Sharpie. Now notice I'm coloring very lightly. So I'm just barely coloring, not very hard at all. And I'm only coloring on the inside of our polar bear. I'm not coloring in his tummy. I'm just coloring inside the line a bit. So I'm just doing a nice soft shadow on the inside of the polar bear. All right, next I'm gonna do a darker line, but the darker line is gonna go right next to my Sharpie line. So I'm gonna do a nice, thick, dark shadow line right next to the Sharpie. 
what this is going to do, it's going to make like the shadow is going from dark to light. All right, so when I'm done with the body, now I have to have the shadow fall under the head, like the head is casting a shadow. So again, I'm going to start light, nice and light on the outside of the face. Okay, and then I'm going to do a nice dark line right under the face. Okay, I'm going to repeat that with the snout. So a nice light shadow on the outside of the snout. And then a nice dark line right next to my Sharpie line. Okay, I'm going to repeat that with my paws. So a nice light shadow, and then a nice dark shadow right next to my Sharpie line. Again, nice light shadow, and then a nice dark shadow. Last spot I'm gonna do this is right under his legs. So we're gonna do a nice light shadow just on the left side and then add my dark shadow. Okay, now you can go back if there's any spots that are too light or too dark, kind of add your little details and see what you want your polar bear to look like. And that's our polar bear. The last thing our bear needs is a background. Now, if you have some type of construction paper at home, like I have a blue piece of construction paper right here. I can use this to do the background and I'll show you how. If you do not have color paper at home, that's no problem. You can color the sky blue. You can use crayons. You can use markers or colored pencil. Okay, so if that if you don't have any colored paper, that's not a problem. I'm going to show you quickly how to do it if you do have some colored paper. So I, since we made these nice little lines on the side, it shows you exactly where to cut. So we're going to start by cutting just on the side, okay? I'm going to turn my bear upside down to make it easy since I'm right handed and I'm just going to cut along those lines. I won't, will not be cutting anything down below. Now all I have to cut is this rainbow shape from here to there. I don't need to cut down here at all. Okay, so I'm going to start by cutting up around the bear just like this. Very easy, no little details, just a big rainbow shape down to that cut that I first did. There you go, so there's my bear. Now I'm going to put my bear on a background, okay? So I'm going to use a glue stick to glue our polar bear down. Once you have your bear glued down, then you can take a white crayon or a white colored pencil and draw snowflakes or stars even in the sky. That's up to you. So I will show you how to do that. To draw a simple snowflake, you can draw the letter T, just like that, and then the letter X, just like that. And there you have a snowflake. You can draw all these snowflakes all around. You could also just do little snowballs if you want to do looking like that. Or you could do a mix of both. So decorate your background however you want it to look. Even if you don't have blue paper, you can use any color you want because this is your art. And I would love to see what your art looks like. So take a picture and send it to me. Good job, you guys. I'm sure your polar bears look great.